Welcome to a very special Christmas episode featuring your favorites, chocolate and milk. Today we're going to talk about Christmas. And all of our little favorite reindeer and our favorite elves. It's going to just be so scrum diddly special. Aren't you excited, chocolate? Yes. Merry Christmas. Um, I hope you guys get to where you guys need to to go celebrate with your families and just have a good, positive, you know, night. You know, food. Thanksgiving food again. Because I, I think the only thing that switches is, like, the ham. It's just, like, ham it's for a turkey. turkey on ham for a turkey, turkey for a ham. Right. I mean, Honey glazed ham. Yeah. Dude, I heard, so, same thing. I heard somebody, one guy who comes into the shop, he was like, oh, I had a honey glazed turkey. I was like, what the fuck? Dude, whoa. He, said it, he said it was whack, though. He said it was whack. He was like, he was like, okay. no, he was like, not for me. That person should be put in handcuffs because that's like, dude, you only put honey on a ham. Like who? Turkey? Dry ass meat. Dry honey, ass bird, bro. Honey on a ham or honey on a booty? Oh boy, Ooh. a Christmas, hey. a Christmas booty, <laughs> right in the snow, buddy, baby. Hey. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. No, I get you though. Like, buying that, bro. <laughs> You know, like honey glazed ham. Honey, you know, <laughs> man, I just couldn't. I don't know. I would try it. You know, fuck it. We're yeah. we're alive once. It's Christmas. Right, you right, know, right. it's a special little treat for a special little time. It would it, it would make a perfect Christmas card. It would. You know, cheeks on it and stuff, and they're like, "Oh my God, is this your baby?" It's like, yeah, 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 it's my it baby. Is mom. Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, so we're gonna break down for you today, folks. Every little Christmas treat, every little Christmas special that we've really enjoyed. We have a list here of 10 different things that make Christmas so merry and bright on this cold winter night. And that motherfucker Santa is going to come visit us too. I'm like, Max, should be a, I mean, yo, your secret identity. <laughs> my secret identity is I'm what? Both, Santa? Uh, no, 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 but I'm... Um... You should definitely be a voice actor, dude. Shit. A voice actor? No, I, I'm like average. There's, dude, there are famous voice actors like fucking Dragon Ball Z, but... I you mean, do... Hey, do your anime voice. What anime voice? You do it with the girl and then you go to the guy thing. You did it right when you got here tonight. What the fuck? No, I didn't. You're like... I didn't. Oh, um... Uh, uh, it's from a meme. But do it. Was it. Like, it was like, it was like, um... We may want. Shinduri, you know, dude, and that's then, like and spot then, on, bro. I, I, you know, oh yeah, stop. I know. I hope I get anime for Christmas. Hype me up, dude. I hope I get an anime e girl for Christmas. Ooh, dude. Doesn't ooh, doggy. In Arizona, what? E girls, they exist. They're everywhere. It's like infections. Oh. But but a good one. It's not me. Yeah. It's gonna be apocalypse. Well, like we always oh, say, folks. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do we always say? Focus. Um. Um. We're here uh, to we're fuck cool. your elves. Oh wow. And. And. Uh, Mrs. Ooh. Claus. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad you said Mrs. Claus. So I was gonna say reindeer. Like, I mean, we could bang a reindeer. That's dirty as fuck. You know, a hole's a hole. Merry Christmas. Climb down the chimney with me as we enter our first question of the episode. We're going to start off strong with this one, guys. Our first Christmas question is, what was your favorite Christmas for you personally growing up? Oh, it was when uh, we lived in the South Valley back, back home in Albuquerque and... Uh, my mom that year had got a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. And if you guys know about it, it's literally on two things of wood. It's on a, uh, I guess like the base is two pieces of wood and an X thing. And it's literally like one stick. Is this store bought or is this made? Dude, it was store bought. It was store bought. So it's like basically in the, I know in the cartoon. It was like a collector thing, like, but we used it as a Christmas tree. It's like two two by fours that are nailed together like right. an X. And then it's got that dinky little like dry ass tiny uh, under nurtured dang, tree, dangly right. <laughs> of an old man penis tree. Oh Jesus! I mean, that's basically what it is, right? Yeah, yeah. And then it has that little one little ball on it, and it was usually red. And then we put all the gifts under there and stuff. And it was just like just like a just cancer. Just a really patient. memorable. Damn, <laughs> it's supposed to be merry, and you're hitting it too hard right now. 
I had a uh, I had a college um, RA, you know, mm-hmm. resident advisor. Mm-hmm. He came up to our group because we were all kind of tight, and he told us that he had one nut. Wow. And we we tried so hard for him. To, we wanted to see it. We we asked over and over for him to show us his nut, and uh, when when I never saw the one one nut sack, I think he lost the other one to cancer. Jeez, man, <laughs> that's deep. I'm not laughing at the cancer thing. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> like, I'm loving every reaction. Yeah, Merry <laughs> Christmas, folks. You're terrible. So yeah, no, no, sounds like the best that's, time. No, no, <laughs> the best memory of your ball story. It's nothing to do with Christmas whatsoever. <laughs> but dude, I'm glad you had a nice Christmas with your family. Yeah, dude. That's fantastic. I miss it. I miss everybody being home. Well, you could have a, possibly a special... Well, I know you're not going to have your full family this year, but you could have a nice one with what you have. Yeah. Oh, being grateful. Yes. Always, man. Always. Oh, yeah, no. Grateful just like that guy had one night. At least he had a little... Shut the... You know? <laughs> a little a little better... A little's better than none. You know oh, what I mean? I'm done. You know what I mean? For me, I put, I don't think I have one. Oh, okay. Wow, so, Max, this is supposed to be family-oriented. Yeah, fuck off. It's not my fault I had a <laughs> shitty life growing up. Fuck you. Actually, it was all right. I, I can deal. Um, but the reason I wrote that is because, like, I basically have just, like, either forgotten or blocked out all my fucking Christmas memories. You know, I just, <laughs> my life growing up at home was a little rough, yeah. you know? Um, but, so I've blocked out or forgotten too much stuff from, you know, the old smoky smoky, but, mm. or whatever, brain damage, who knows? Um, but what I do remember about Christmas morning is I used to, like, especially as a kid, yeah. I got giddy as fuck, dude. Yeah. I was like, yes, let's run downstairs, open the presents. But it wasn't about, like, you know, obviously, like, I wanted to know what I got. Right. But it was the thing of like I would delegate, bro. So I would I would basically be like, Mom, Dad, brother, Mom, mm-hmm. Dad, brother, Mom, mm-hmm. Dad, brother. Mm-hmm. Me, uh, you know, throw me in there every now and then, and like watch everybody open their gifts, whether I got them the gifts or they got it from somebody else. Mm-hmm. It was just kind of fun, you know. Right. And like I would at the end of it all, I'd gather all my gifts up, run upstairs to my room, look at all of them, compare them, contrast, see what I got, you know. And that was really fun, you know. The bad part was I do remember like never fully getting to relax on Christmas because mm. of my mom. Mm. It used to be like this thing of like, all right, we open all the presents now. Clean up. Now you got to do this next and you got to do this. Why all the other kids just got to go fuck in the neighbor, fuck around in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> no. my, the, hey, hey, the kids in my neighborhood were not fucking each other. That's I that's guarantee wild, you bro. that. That's wild. Oh, wow. That's wild. Woo. No, but it's just like a thing of... Um, you know, it's like, oh, I want to go play, but I can't. I got to do chores right. or whatever. So, Hey, but isn't that life, though? That's life. I mean, as That's an adult, life. as an adult, like, sure, like, I get it. Like, I have to. You know, I, if I don't, I'm going to suffer and fail and yeah. not survive. But as a kid, it's like, come on, let me fuck around. It made you better. You know. It did. It did. Yeah. It did. You know, I'm bent. A little blessing in disguise. Bent, okay. not broken, as they say. Oh. Yeah. Bent, not broken. A little curvature, but... <laughs> I'm more mature. There it oh, is. There I it just is. made up a phrase. Yo, get this top that slunt. You know what I mean? Slunt. That's your favorite word. It is. It is. I don't know. Speaking of favorites, what was your favorite Christmas gift that you ever got? <sighs> okay, so we didn't really ever celebrate Christmas a whole lot. So because of at the time, like we were like. Jehovah's Witnesses and stuff, so we don't really like celebrate holidays. Oh, I, dude, I forgot that. about that. So um, that's right. So usually, any gifts that we got around that time were literally they weren't even really. You know, I mean, I think we got toys like year round, but it was just clothes. And honestly, I loved clothes. I, I, I was totally cool with like socks, a shirt, you know, underwear and stuff. Because half the time I didn't have that, so you know. So. Oh really? Yeah, bro. Damn. Getting real on Christmas, man. Dude, like, we gotta get real. You know. It's kind of like a cleansing part of the year, man. Right. I mean, that's the other thing. Like, you hear Christmas, like, a lot of it's like drear, dreary as fuck. It's got right. this like these sad undertones, and right. it's like I thought this was supposed to be celebration, but it's also like feel bad for what you've done. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Santa's watching. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I I think it's just overall, you know, like just to kind of like reflect and stuff, man. Because I think all of holidays kind of have that, you know, because you make like because you make memories and you make. You know, these things that come up every year and then like you always think of the of those things every year that the holidays come around. Maybe it's just like, mm, like just to kind of like just talk about it. I don't know. 
Yeah, if, if that makes sense, you know, honestly, you know. I mean, you're kind, of, you're kind of right. The only one I think that doesn't apply to is like, well, two of them, like Fourth of July and Halloween. Yeah, I mean, you make memories, but it's different. Halloween's right. like, let's fuck, and then it's party in costumes, and, and, and Fourth of July is like, get fucked up and watch some fireworks. Yeah. You know? and that's that's basically. And go to a lake or something. You know. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Well, you know, I mean, that's what we used to do. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, my favorite Christmas gift ever, I believe, is I got double double bass pedals for my drum kit. Yo. So like you know like I wasn't even in the suit I wasn't even super into metal at the time. Yeah. Like I liked a little bit of metal, basically just like a Vince Sevenfold, like basic intro metal shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but dude, I just remember like watching people play and hearing it. Like the first, I remember the first time I ever heard double bass pedals in a song. I was like. What the fuck is that? <laughs> like, what? There's blazing bass, like, so fast. Like, what is this? Right. And then, like, videos, watching people play. I was like, holy fuck. I was like, I gotta learn how to do this. Right. And so, like, I did. And, like, now I play. I mean, like, I'm pretty good at it. I'm not fantastic at playing double bass. Um, But it's like a it's like a thing where it's like, now it's just a part of my everyday kit play. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't see it as anything, like, super special anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, I do, like, you know, if I get to hit, like, fast notes really clean, like, super even and stuff. But it's just like, you know, but I remember getting them on Christmas. I was like, shit, can we wrap this gift given up? I got to go downstairs and play. You know? <laughs> so, yeah, that was probably my favorite Christmas gift. Shout yeah. out to my dad. Oh, yeah. So, good times, dude. Um, Let's continue this favorites, my dude. Uh, Let's go straight to, uh, since I already mentioned it a little bit, favorite Christmas song. Oh, man. Uh, that is Mariah Carey. All I want for Christmas is you. That. That is literally the Christmas anthem in America. I feel like that song is always played. It's in every commercial ever. Macy's, J.C. Penney's, like, dude, everything. And then, um, and then, but I want to give an honorable mention to Michael Bublé because he always has consistent Christmas music too. I mean, he's and he's really talented too. He's like so. the shadow of Frank Sinatra. Right, right, right. Exactly, exactly. That's 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 like really high praise. That's like damn. You're that good. <laughs> hey, he's good. I know a lot of people shit on him. Yeah. I know a lot. I'm like, why? He's got a good voice and whatever. Like, and he's good. He seems like a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Like, what's the big deal? You know, yeah. he's not Frank. Well, nobody's Frank. Frank is the only Frank. Like, right. relax. That's just how it's gonna be. Yeah. You know, he's Michael. Get he's, over it. <laughs> you know. So yeah. Dude, I heard. I don't know what the exact number is, but I heard like Mariah Carey makes some something like two million dollars every year off, off that, that song, song dude. yeah it's it's crazy like that's like her like she's like okay here's another two million paycheck coming she can retire and that's her you know every year until she dies she's year. gonna get two million at right, least she said. at least she said um another thing um is like she's number it always hits number one on the charts too because of how much it's played exactly. commercials radio uh you know tv internet Everything. what uh, shows movies mm-hmm. whatever dude it's mm-hmm. everywhere it's everywhere. Like, I don't like the... I mean, the song's okay. It doesn't really bother me, but I definitely don't, like, go out of my way. I mean, I don't... I'm not a big Christmas guy, uh, Christmas song guy in general. It's kind of like... Like I said, the dreary overtones and stuff like that, but right. it's all right. Yeah. But, yeah, mad respect to her, because I don't even think she knew that she's going to be like, I'm going to create reoccurring revenue for myself right. every single year until she, I die. Yeah, right, right. You know? Yeah. But good, good on her, man. My favorite is one that I know you like too. One. Last Christmas, oh, by I George gave you... Let's go. yeah, by Wham, Let's go. by Wham, you know, Wham. yeah, dude, Last I love that. I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away. Gave it away this year to save me from tears. I'll give it to someone special. Special. R.I.P. George Michael. I know. But, dude, yeah, that's probably my favorite Christmas song, bro. <laughs> it's kind of nice, and obviously I love um, Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know that's not a Christmas song, but that song is just like, jitterbug. <laughs> it just gets you, dude, like, I, you know, Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. I'm like, I'm getting woken up. Let's go, baby. You know, like, there's no way you can't like not like that song. I'm pumped up. But I got to say, one thing, um, one thing I definitely appreciate. Okay, so I got to say, I don't like the Beatles. I know I've said that on the music podcast. I'm not a fan of the that's Beatles. That's a concert man. I know. Oh, dude, I know. I, I know my music tastes are controversy. But it's not that I hate the Beatles. Right. Or, like, I respect them because of, like, uh, they made 8-track, which was huge for recording purposes. Um, so I, I can't, like, shit on them because of, like, stuff like that, you right. know. And I get it. They were innovative and all that kind of thing. 
But the song um, A Wonderful Christmas Time by Paul McCartney, mm. the one thing I like about that song is the synth sound he has. Right. There's something like weird and very old timey and nostalgic about that synth sound he has. It just hits me in a certain place and I really like just like that sound. So mm. I thought that was an honorable mention. Yeah. But not not nearly at the top of like my favorite Christmas songs. Yeah. yeah. It's 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 totally fucking uh, last Christmas by Wham. No question, dude. That's a good one. Yeah, That's it's it's sure. it's pretty great, dude. Um, and another thing we're going to move on to in favorites is favorite Christmas movie. Oh, okay. So, so this one, okay. This one was kind of hard, dude, because there's a lot of good Christmas movies out there. There's some decent you ones. You can't knock, like, any of them, because, so, like, all of them have, like, memes and, you know, everything, you know. So, but The Grinch, of course. Oh, got, dude, how did I not even... I got Home Alone. I knew you. Were, I knew you were gonna put that one on there. Polar Express, um, and uh, and a Charlie Brown Christmas man. You know, it was kind of hard to pick, dude. So I was just like, I'm just gonna put these down and just say, it. I was like, fuck it. So, but <laughs> <laughs> probably totally ruined that question. So okay, okay, out of the four, you chose four, right? Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. If okay. you had to choose absolutely one out of those four, I was gonna actually say one. Not- not, not even on this list. Oh, go for it. <laughs> I was like, yo. Um, fuck, dude. Nah, so, you know what? I'm a huge comic book head, so I'm going to say The Batman Returns. Because that is a Christmas movie. What? It is. It is. You... It is. Well, I, okay. It is. Is, it, is it the cartoon Batman Returns? No, no, no. It's the one with Michael Keaton. And, and your boy, Danny DeVito. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, I mean, there's like snow and stuff. and they There's get... a Christmas tree in it. It was totally around Christmas. Time. Okay, hold on, hold on. Pump the brakes. Are you uh, are you one of those people who are like, oh, Die Hard is a Christmas movie? No, 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 no. no. Okay, good. Definitely not. Cause Thank Die Hard God. Is, has too much action. It should meant to be a Christmas. Oh, movie. all because it happened during Christmas time doesn't make right. it a GD Christmas movie. But 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 people have said that Die Hard is possibly it is possibly a Christmas movie, dude. Like, I understand the argument and I get it, but it, no, okay, okay, no. Okay, okay, okay. Question, question, question. Okay. So with the Harry Potter movies, right? Every time. Oh yes, please say no, it. No, no, right, I, right, right. Say it. Well, well, I mean, aren't the Harry Potter movies like a Christmas movie too? The no. whole series. No, 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 no. Okay, check this out. When you watch, like, I don't know if it's HBO or ABC or right. both of them, when they do their little like Christmas compilation of all the fucking like, we have all these movies for you to watch right. on our service. Right. They throw the Harry Potter Christmas scene of the shot outside the castle or when they're like doing some other shit. And then I'm like, dude, I get it that in like maybe the one, two, and three Harry Potter, there's Christmas scenes that happen, right. but it is not a Christmas movie. There's no mention of anything with Santa or Jesus Christ or any of that. And it's just like, I get it, like Christmas happens, but it's not a fucking Christmas movie. I can't, you get all giddy and like, oh, I want to just sit around and watch Harry Potter because it's like, oh, the pumpkin spice or the chai I'm drinking goes great with me snuggling in this blanket and sitting next to my nerd girlfriend or boyfriend. I'm like, fuck off. It's not a goddamn fucking Christmas movie. Just call your shit. Yo. It's a magic movie, bitch. You know? You get my point. You know what I mean? Kinda. But I mean, Harry Potter is definitely a mood during the holidays. It just has that, like, okay. like, like that aesthetic for some reason i don't know and then plus two i think it's because it's so cold so like that vibe of you watching it makes you just want to like you know like freaking like have a hot chocolate I, okay home, okay i can't help it but agree a little like, bit bro, i would totally cut but but i okay i'll agree with the mood thing but you can't you can't say it's a christmas movie that's just my thing same with Die Hard. It not I don't a, have to say it. Same with Die the Hard. People said it. Die Hard. It's not a christmas movie yes i get it happens during christmas time and all that stuff but no don't give me that. I'm trying to think of another movie that might have that. I'm like, okay, but there's... A, I, I, I don't know. There's a lot of, like, rom-coms that occur during Christmas. There's this one I actually watched when I was in... So funny. When I was in Mexico in August, <laughs> I watched a Christmas movie because it was on Mexican TV. Right. Um, it was with Kristen Stewart, and she was a lesbian and had, like, a lesbian lover who, like, couldn't come out because she was afraid of what her parents would say, but Kristen was already out, but then she had to be hidden because her, her girlfriend, her secret girlfriend, wanted her to... I don't know what it was called, but it was actually pretty good. And it also had Aubrey Plaza in it, who was also a lesbian, at the, I think, in the movie. I don't know what it was called, but it was actually pretty good. Yeah, that sounds complex. Man. I watched it naked in a hot tub. In my room. We had a hot tub. We had a bath, like, hot tub thing in our room, and you oh, could watch boy. 
You can watch the TV. It's kind of nice. Hey, you were living, man. I was living, yeah. A little bit of Mexico, dude. And I we had un- unlimited room service. It was sweet. Jeez. Yeah, I got fat. Eat lobster all day. No, <laughs> it was more like chicken fingers and fries, but still. Oh, okay. I mean, still. And like tacos and quesadillas. It's, oh, okay. Okay. We're in Mexico. I mean, what do right. you, you know? Fish tacos. It's pretty fire. <laughs> but dude, I, you know, you said you mentioned the Grinch and I was like, shit, dude, that one complete. How did that slip my fucking mind? Yeah, huh? I'm like, what? I don't even know, because I would have thrown that in for one of mine, because I only wrote down two. Even the animated one's good. Jim Carrey's one is, like, the best. Oh, I think it's the best. It's the best. best. I mean, best the best. it's the best. You can kind of throw that movie against any other Christmas movie, and that one would probably win every time. Maybe. Maybe not against Elf. Elf is a really good Christmas movie with Will Ferrell and um, uh, the beautiful girl from New Girl. I forgot her name, dude. Um, it's so hard to pronounce. I'm like, Delphonse, something. Uh, something, something. Uh, uh, Zoe Deschanel. Oh, okay, okay. There it is, there it is. Zoe Deschanel. Zoe, Zoe, Zoe Deschanel. Zoe Deschanel. No, it's uh, Zoe Deschanel. <laughs> Hi, I'm not okay. <laughs> no, but dude, the, the the two I wrote down as my favorite Christmas movies were Elf. Elf, okay. Which I love Elf. Elf. Great movie. Yes. And then The, the Night Before. You ever seen that one? Jack no. Oh, I was no, like, not the night maybe before Christmas. Okay, I don't I like that. Like, I don't like that's that. That's another good one. Mm. That's a good one. It's overrated. I don't like how people get too obsessed with it. It's a Tim Burton. It's. I don't, I'm not a big. That's Tim. why his name just on like, it. It just makes it ten times better. I think. I think. I think. I feel how I feel about Tim Burton the same way I feel about the Beatles. Actually, I like. Okay, I definitely. What? Hold on. Hold on. I yeah. De- hold on. <laughs> hold on. I definitely like Tim Burton better. Than the Beatles. Mm. And I know it's like completely, it's movies versus music. Right. I get that. But I just think, like Tim Burton, like I respect the shit out of it. The art form, chef's keys. You know, but I'm just not like super, super into it. Like what's that movie with the people with the button eyes? It's Coraline. Yeah, Coraline. Like Coraline is good, dude. And the music's good. It's just kind of like creepy. And like I couldn't watch it all the time, but I appreciate the shit out of it. You know, it was good. I'd give it like an eight out of ten. Like it was, it was great, you know. Um... But yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of kind of funky. No, not I, I don't know. The night I think the other reason I don't like the nightmare before Christmas cuz I uh, so I quit Yelp mm-hmm. when I was doing sales mm-hmm. and I I got a job at a coffee shop lit like it was a coffee cafe shop literally mm-hmm. down the street like a block away. Right. And they were they were Instagram famous, dude, and people would travel cuz they had the most crazy desserts. Right. Everything was detailed and they had Theme days throughout the year. They did Star Wars Day on May the 4th. They had all these desserts like Star Wars. They did a Lord of the Rings Day, I'm pretty sure. Halloween, 4th of July. And they went crazy. And the shit was detailed. And they had so many things to pick from. All these crazy drinks. We, we would literally put like cotton candy on top of the drinks. It was nuts, right? Jeez. And dude, and they hired me for two days. Mm-hmm. Didn't even make me sign paperwork. And then they fucking fired me. Wow. And and they and it was during the Nightmare Before Christmas special they were doing, and I think I got salty because of that. You were like, fuck Nightmare Before Christmas. I was like, fuck Christmas. Nightmare Before fuck Christmas, Christmas and fuck you. <laughs> Get fucked. I hope your business suffers. Damn. You know, what? I because they like lied to me, dude. And like That's not even fair. It was stupid, dude. That's not even fair. It was fair. fucked up. So I think that's where I have that like that night before Christmas. And I don't know, I just I've seen it once twice and I was like, eh, it's all right. It's okay. Um, but no, but the night before is with Seth Rogan. Oh, uh, and uh, uh, uh Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. I don't know that that black guy's da, name. Da. Oh, um, uh, I think it's Anthony Mackie. Yes, yes. Yeah, 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 dude, it's good. And it's with the girl from Broad City. One of the girls from Broad. You know Broad City? No. You don't know what Broad City is? Uh, I, I, if you show me a picture of it, I would know. You would probably know. It's a, it was a comedy show on Comedy Central with two girls who live in New York City, and they're like super liberal. It's, uh, I think they work at a diner, right? They they have a no. That's a different. TV they have a, they, they have a couple. They, 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 they have a couple different jobs and shit. Okay. Do Broad no, City? I haven't seen it. Broad City, funny as fuck. Okay. Love that show. Super super good. It's with one of the chicks from that. So anyways, yeah. So mine I put between Elf and The Night Before, but I would also throw The Grinch in there too. Yeah. You know, so those are probably my three favorite ones, dude. Oh, yeah. And I only saw The Night Before, um, maybe like three years ago for the first time, but pretty pretty fantastic. Pretty fantastic. All right, we're going to take a little bit of a curveball right here. Go off track a little bit. But does Santa drink chocolate milk? That's the debate question. Oh, yes. No, probably not. <laughs> but um, uh, if he's getting milk from anybody, chocolate milk, it's from us. So. It's from us. So, you know, I mean, with a little something extra in there for him, too. You know, you know, just a little hint of whiskey or something. Yeah. Um, but, uh, 
Yeah, dude. I mean, I mean, I mean, it, it depends, man. I mean, I don't think anyone ever puts out like a chocolate chip cookie for him. I think it's usually kind of like sugar what? cookies, right? Sugar cookies. Oh, I guess like, you could say sugar cookies or, or snickerdoodle or Christmas cookies. Okay. Or maybe M M&M and M cookies, possibly. M M&M and M cookies. Dude, I would say chocolate chip as well, bro. Now that I think about it, I feel like I've definitely left out chocolate chip cookies for him. I just feel like he's. He'd be like, okay, eh, you know. What, dude? I think he would just eat it. He, because that's what he's supposed to do. Oh, okay. That fight, that fat diabetic shit. It's a terrible fat joke you got there. <laughs> 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 he but, would eat anything presented to him. You know, he's got a long night. Long that's night. Okay, I mean, I'm okay. Yeah, sugar helps and stuff. He's like, oh, cookies. You know. He's like, yes. Even if they're like, like the dollar ones, from, like the Dollar Tree ones. I know you got these ones. <laughs> He like knows he's like you picked these out. I of thought the- I got these at General Dollar. Yeah. <laughs> like, you got them out of the dumpster at Fry's. <laughs> these are expired. <laughs> oh my but God. he's gonna eat them anyways. <laughs> but will he drink chocolate milk? I think if it was there available for him, you know, he chug it. He get whatever he can get his little creepy hands on. Right. You know. And the fact that he's even in your house while you're sleeping is you know, un- just enough said. So. Yeah, I mean. He probably so drink, he better drink the top. Though. He probably drinks reindeer <laughs> jizz to stay strong. Get his get his daily protein. Paul Benjamin is like, yeah. <laughs> you know, before he takes his yearly flight, he milks them all into his mouth and makes sure he's good to go. You know what I mean? Jeez. So yeah, he needs a he needs a tall glass of chocolate milk <laughs> to, wa- to wash reindeer. it all there. <laughs> to wash it all down, dude, for sure. Speaking of reindeer, bro, who's your favorite fucking reindeer? So I never really paid attention to any of these, any, any of these reindeers ex, 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 except for Rudolph. So it explains a lot why he used to get bullied and get Ooh. his ass whooped. Yeah, that's the so, thing. Like he gets uh, he but, gets bullied and gets his ass whooped, but he also gets the most attention. Right, right, right. But uh, I would have to pick a uh, Dasher, man, because he sounds fast. I'm like, you know, okay, Dasher. You know, he sounds like a fast ass. Yeah, he sounds like he's he'd the, be at the top, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like, leading. Put that lazy, red-nosed son of a bitch in right, the back. Right, Put Dasher in the front. He's like, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And that's like built-in horsepower right there. It's just, come on. You know? You hear like a... Like a <laughs> you think it's like, uh, you know, uh, uh, what's it called? F1? Like the 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 racing series? Right, right. Whatever you think. Like, is that going on in my neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Switching gears. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that'd be too funny. Hell yeah. They would get work, dude. They would get work done, bro. So much faster. So much faster. Take Rudolph. Who you cares? Know? You don't need to see. You don't need a light. You're Santa Claus. Yeah. You can probably snap and make it go. Clouds part. You know, like, yeah, yeah. You know what the hell? Yeah. Like, let me see the way. I'm not trying to show you guys all my power, but hey, I mean, <laughs> well, like he's like the Mandalorian. <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> this is the way. Yeah, yeah, right. You know, get out of here. Yeah, so I was I was going to put Cupid, because he's probably a horny little bastard, <laughs> slash, um, not exhibitionist, but a, um, a voyeur, where he's just like, let's go to their windows, Santa, you know, make them fall in love. <laughs> he's, so, he's just that one weird dude that has that, always that weird, like, punchline in the movie and shit. Yeah, he's the oddball of the group, just, Cupid, you know, because you know, he's always trying to, he's, you know. He's like, yes, Santa. <laughs> but dude, the one I chose to be my favorite, Blitzen, bro. Blitzen has a cool name. He, he smokes fat fatties, oh, bro. He's always baked. Dude, he's, he's always like dead last. He's always on the backwood game. Right. Yeah, he's like right. he's like, oh what, we're up in the sky already? Right. I was in the sky hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> right. He takes a backwood out. Oh bro. He smokes <laughs> like he puts a quarter in his backwood, bro. He's smoking <laughs> fatties. That's why Santa's like, yo, Rudolph, I need that light. <laughs> He's getting all the trail wind right. from the fucking smoke. <laughs> oh, that explains the munchies for the milk and cookies. Did we just figure it out? Bro, did we just solve the case? Fuck. For Santa? Give me some. Dude, dap that shit up. Give me oh, some, yes. Oh, my God. Dude, dude, we figured that shit out. That makes so much sense. Blitzen be blitzing, making Santa high. He needs the cookies to stay alive. Wow. And he just rhymed it like that, bro. You know. God, man. Can you get this man a rap contract, man? Yeah, you know. Eminem ain't got shit on me. Let's go, bitch. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. <laughs> I got to take some of that back now. <laughs> Detroit, whatever. I'm oh, from Virginia. disrespectful ass. <laughs> Virginia. Mother. Northern <laughs> Virginia. Get some, motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, no. And, and and that's so crazy how that one thing was just weed. It's literally, man, he's getting baked. And that's why he's always hungry. Always hungry, thirsty. That, that makes so much sense. Cotton mouth. Cotton mouth. That makes so much sense. Oh, dude. 
And that's why he's so fat, because when he gets back, he's so... St- that's it, dude. He's so stoned for 364 days of the year from that one night that he has to hire elves to make the toys because he's too high to make them. Yo. Holy shit. We just ripped a hole in the sky. Dude, we just like... Different, like, parallel universe right now. That's it. He's so, like, he, him and Blitzen. Elves, elves are going to come abduct this because we're talking blasphemy. They're like, oh my God, they fucking know. Dude, I, bo- I bet he smoked somewhere between like 10, like 5 to 10 pounds in one night because he's got to go over the whole world. That's very true. That's a lot of weed. Plus, it, the draft from the wind is making the making the backwood burn quicker. We're getting smokers, so they're getting, you know? they're getting, you know, that stream across the side, that ain't from a, that ain't from an engine. That <laughs> That's from a fucking fat backwood. God, they blunt blowing. Dude, I bet he's got like a fucking little bubbler in his uh, in his sleigh. You know. Damn. All right. So here's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> and they got to keep him in the North Pole because they know he's got an addiction where it won't grow. Because if he was around it, he would never be able to take the toys out. They gotta keep okay, going. hold on. Whoa. We're getting too deep. We're getting too deep. My brain's starting to hurt. Okay, but seriously, no, if somebody wants to analyze this shit and make it into a full-length story, I think we're on to something here. We need a documentary. We need to document this shit. Find Santa. Find Santa. And ask him the question. Figure out why he's addicted to weed. <laughs> figure out Blitzen's problem. Right. And figure out the elf story behind the workers. Right. Whoa. Are they just children? Are they children? Forced, forced in, into slavery to make toys for other kids? Dude, that's evil. Or genius. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not Kanye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yo. Hey, yo. Terrible. Oh, yeah. D- pretty terrible. Pretty terrible indeed. And speaking of terrible, let's talk about Santa's favorite counterpart, Krampus. Oh, dude. So, okay. So everyone knows how St. Nicholas... Rewards good kids with gifts. Right. Krampus does the complete opposite. Yeah, this guy's a I guess this guy's a menace. Those who are naughty, he beats them with branches and sticks. And then and then that's not even the worst part. Sometimes he'll eat them and take them to hell with him. Yes, I know. Like what? Like this man's like but I mean I mean Santa doesn't take, you know, I mean kids to you know, well, heaven and stuff, so I don't know how that would you know. That's weird. How they were just like so extreme on Krampus, but then like Santa's just main job is hey, we just he just makes toys and brings joy to the world. And then Krampus is like, Oh yeah, we just yeah, we just we overdo it over here. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like what the hell? Like hell and everything? Like, damn. Yeah, it it's it's kinda crazy, dude. I mean he is, he's literally like the exact opposite evil counterpart of what fucking Santa is, you know? And like some of the pictures online are like, damn. Like, yeah. He's yeah. literally dragging kids with him. And he's he's got a like, straight demon. And he's got, <laughs> he's got a whip with him, you know? It, it's, it's fucking nuts. So, you know. The fuck happened to Cole? Like, they just totally skipped Cole because it wasn't working. And they're just like, nah, you know what? <laughs> it's crazy. These kids are going to get beat. <laughs> Krampus was actually originated in Germany. Hmm. Uh, comes from the word crampin. Crampin. Yeah. Man, I ran I just ran a lap and I didn't eat a banana. I'm so lacking in potassium, <laughs> so now I'm cramping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or it sounds like you know like the crip walk dude. Right. Do the cramp walk. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you just like whip kids as you do like this gangster walk, uh, but Krampen, uh means claw, and that's even scarier because he's like coming he's to grab you, coming to scratch you, yeah. coming to do like whatever, dude. Right. And um, apparently, it's part part of the uh, pagan rituals from the winter solstice. I don't know too much about that at all, but right. um, uh, Krampus is said to be the son of Heel, if I'm saying that right, the Norse god of the underworld. Yo. So he's literally a demon, bro. Right, yeah. No. You know, just he's how just how like according to Christianity, how the devil was like God's right son, right, son or right yeah. hand man or whatever, yeah. and then he disobeyed him. Right. So this could be like I send mean send him to hell. Send him to hell, right? And then this is like a similar thing. I don't think Krampus disobeyed. I think Krampus was like created or right. originated from hell. Right. And then he comes up to take the kids or kill them or whatever. And then it's scary, dude. Yeah, you know? Yeah, definitely. So I I mean in honesty, I I, I, I think they probably use it and stuff to kind of like scare the kids good you know so they get gifts yeah they, so they get you know, gifts you know, yeah. it's just like that that little ploy so 
My favorite, I um. So everybody knows. I mean, the first thing that popped in my head when I was researching this was Bell Schnickel. Mm-hmm. You know, from like Al Dwight does that in The Office. Have you seen The Office? I have, but I just I, oh. I kind of yeah, but dude, I just I slow was, motion you know, bullet to the brain. You know, like I I don't remember all the episodes by heart, dude. It's season zero. nine. It, Bell Schnickel's um, not until the very last season. Okay, and it's like they do a Christmas episode every season, mm-hmm. and like he did he did Bell Schnickel in the very last one, and he like comes and he starts whipping everybody around the office. <laughs> so like that was like the first thing I thought of mm-hmm. in terms of uh, like. Oh, who does Krampus remind me of? Or like, I mean, technically, like Bell Snicker is like a very similar counterpart or like parallel with Krampus in terms of like what they do. Hmm. So it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy, you yes. know, like all these like evil, whatever, um, anti Santa, opposite of Santa, right, right. You know, like, Santa's nemesis, evil villains. Yeah, you know. It's but, like... but my favorite is have you have you seen Big Mouth? I have seen Big Mouth. Have you seen the Big Mouth Christmas special one? No. With Vada Johan? No. <laughs> Dude, I got to show you this. Uh, this Vada Johan, he's like he's like this monster that lives in this lake mm. who comes and eats the Chris, like the kids. And they're like, watch out. Vada Johan can smell your blood. <laughs> it's like, smell your blood? Or no, hear, oh, no, no, no. Or it's either smell your blood or hear your blood. Huh. So he can hear your blood coursing through your body. Jesus. It gets really dark, and they have like the uh, I think it's uh, Hamster King or uh, <laughs> Hamster King. They, yeah, the Hamster King has to come fight Father Johan, and whoever <laughs> whoever wins, he gets to lit. And these kids have to hide in these child coffins, and if they don't hide in the child coffin, Father Johan's gonna eat them I'm and, done. and create his house with child bones. But anyways, Jeez. it's hilarious. You gotta go check it out, dude. Man. It's it's so fucking funny. It's so fucking funny, bro. I will. I will. <laughs> yeah, a little dark, a little evil, but. You know, we're chocolate milk. We have the light in the dark, my dudes. Go and do changes. Well, speaking of more negative Christmas things, what was the worst Christmas gift you ever got? Okay, so this one's going to be pretty sad, but probably nothing. You know? And, <laughs> yeah, no, right, Mixed right. reviews, no, mixed no, reviews. No, no, and, and it's just because, like, I didn't really get to celebrate Christmas a whole lot. So, yeah, no, that was, yeah. We oh, didn't you really didn't, do, bro? Yeah, yeah, dude, no. Damn. No, so. I know I was making jokes I, about cancer earlier, but that's just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry. That's why I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure like nothing is probably like top of the list for like worst Christmas gift ever. Has to be. Mine's kind of bad. Mm. Mine's, um, I mean, yours is kind of worse in a sense, but <laughs> mine's uh, being in rehab. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Honestly, that's about the same. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, it's like, I mean, because this is what I wrote. Because it's like, yeah, it sucks. I'm in rehab. I don't have. It, it, I don't get to spend time with. I mean, family would you know potentially visit. I, I think I spent two Christmases in rehab. Jeez. Um, and it's like, yeah, it sucks. But at the same time, what I also wrote down was rehab is a gift in itself. Ooh, way to curve that. Yeah. Okay. You know, because it's the like positive. you know. I know, I know I'm like super like, as Christians would say, blasphemous and, you know, like just blunt and all that shit. But it's like, I, I do that shit because it's fucking fun, motherfucker. And it's like, why not? Yeah, I have an opinion. I have my energy behind it. I'm sticking with who I am. And that's, that's how it comes out, Absolutely. you know? But I'm also, I understand where I'm at in my life and I've fucking developed gratefulness, you know? And, you know, I'm grateful for you, man. I'm grateful for this podcast. I'm grateful for so many things in my life because this shit's been hard. It's been real, you know? And, like, being in rehab during Christmas, like, you know, I mean, I remember, like, I was in rehab during the 4th of July, bro, and, like, I had to walk from one cabin, from, like, the main hangout cabin or whatever we were doing an activity back to mine where we were out for the night, and just looking up in the sky and see fireworks go off on 4th of July, and, like, knowing that, like, I have these two to three minutes where I'm walking from one place to another where I get to look at it, and that's it, you know, and it's like, I get it, it's like, I'm not in prison, but I can relate to prisoners in the sense of, like, Oh, I'm missing it. Like, I get it. Prison is way right. worse than rehab. Of yeah, course. I'm never sure. going to say it. it's easier or better. It's definitely harder yeah. and worse. But what I'm saying is I get that sense of, like, the restrictiveness and, like... Of just wanting to be out of there. Yeah. And yeah. so, like, spending Christmas, like, in rehab sucks. And I remember, dude, I got... So I was in Baltimore during one rehab. And then literally on the 31st of December, I 
flew out here. So I got kicked out of this one in Arizona, mm. went to the one in Baltimore, and then I came back to the one in Arizona, and I literally flew back on the 31st. So I landed, wow. and then I changed into the new year from going from Baltimore, and it was just like a whole thing, bro. Wow. Wow. So, you know, dude, it's like, I don't know, man. I mean, that sucks that I was there, but dude, hearing you get nothing, man, that's just... No, I, well, you know. well, well, I don't want to make it seem like, okay, yeah, we, you know, that, but yeah, I mean, I mean. Makes me want to go buy you some shit we, right now. What? I mean, we, we got other things, you know, and that was like, kind of like a substitute for it. So it was like, we would get a gift, but it'd be like a small gift. And that would be like, okay, that's like our low key Christmas present, you know, but you know, but yeah, it's just, it's just you know, it's life. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. You, you, like, if you have a certain behavior, a certain thing go on for so long, you kind of just accept it after right. a time, and you don't realize like, oh, this is so bad right. until it becomes better. Right. Yeah. Right. right. I mean, and honestly, too, it saves me money. So, I mean, I yeah. guess. Yeah. You know, I, that's a, that's a positive spin. But honestly, I think one thing that it helps me with though and stuff is that I'm not afraid to get gifts at any point in time. You know, so I'm just. You like, mean you, you're not afraid to receive? No, 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 like, like, to, like, you know, like, to just buy gifts when it's not a holiday or something, like, just to kind of, like, just go out and just buy something. For yourself? Yeah, well, for myself, for, you know, for family and stuff, and for, you know, for friends and stuff, so, you know, shouldn't just be Christmas, you know. Yeah. Pass something out every day. No, <laughs> That's nice, dude. It's always yeah. good to give back, you so, know. It's what makes the world go around, my friend. It's it the should. world go around. It should. See everybody, we we could get a little wild, but then we could get a little heartfelt. We you know, have, we have it. In, it's know. chocolate milk, man. It's in us. It gives you. <laughs> this is what chocolate milk does. When you first drink it, bam, you get hit with the sugar, like the beginning of our episodes, right. and then it calms you down. Right. You get a little heavy from all that milk, mm -hmm. that calcium. You know, it's calming you down. Right. It's it's making you filled up and relaxed. Makes you want to tuck in the bed and go to go to Betty Bye. Right. Right. <laughs> no. Absolutely. All right. Let's get real for a second, motherfucker. Okay. When did your parents tell you Santa wasn't real? Dude, okay, so not that you kill again, but like at an early age, you know, because I mean, uh, I, I, maybe, maybe like I think one Christmas when my mom was like really working and stuff, and you know, she, you know, was working a lot and stuff, like she got us gifts and stuff, but it was like, it was like she made sure to like let us know, like her and my dad was like, hey, we work for hard, you know, like, you, you know, like we work very hard for these gifts, so, you know, like don't, don't think some fairy tale type of thing is that, you know. So it was just like, yeah, it's just like real life. Like, Santa's not real. So, how old? Like, eight? Mm, yeah. Eight or ten or something. Around there, probably. I mean, old enough, old enough. So, but I mean, yeah. Sorry, guys, again, for being a basketball. Like, we've really never. He was like, dude, no, no. I get it how, like, I get it how, like, the energy in the beginning of the episode is like, ah, yeah, but yeah, it's like, yeah. but dude, like, this is like our real, this is exactly what I want. I want us to be, like, obnoxious as fuck, yeah. fisting your asshole kind of shit. Right. And then, gentleness, real, raw, ugly. It's like muck, you know? That's like, that shit. Like, muck the Pokemon obviously isn't real, but, like, your drains muck up. There's oils. Like, that's the real shit, though. Dark evil. You know? Yeah. And you can see the positive in, like, when an oil spills, you see all the colors. Greens, pinks, reds, yellows, right? That's the positivity within the disaster. Mm. The colors that are reflected in oil. Mm. You know? Because it's showing you that it's like, although this is muddy and whatever, there's a lot of good to it because it gives you release. It gives you rawness. It gives you realness. Man. You know? Man. I'm having a lot of good ones tonight, aren't wow. I? There it is, man. You know? I love you. I there love is. you too. <laughs> um, for me, I don't think my parents ever told me directly that Santa wasn't real. Mm. Like, I don't think they ever straight up said it. Like, right. I remember like in elementary school, like hearing rumors on the bus, hearing rumors at school, you know, and I remember my brother teasing me about it. He's like, Santa's not real. I'm like, don't say that. <laughs> you know, he's older. Of course he's going to fucking do that <laughs> shit. Um, you know, but I like kind of didn't really believe him, but I was also a little skeptical about it. So I think overall I stopped believing in him either like when I was 11, 12 or 13, mm. somewhere around there. You know, like I always wanted it to be true, but then I was like, there's no way. And I started thinking about it realistically. And then all the kids at school would talk about it, this and that. You know, I was kind of like, okay, it, you know, it's time to settle this. You know, I still think it's fun because like 
Although I don't think I want kids personally, I do like seeing kids get excited about it. Yeah. It's cute. Yeah. It's cute. It's very wholesome. You it's know? fun. It's, it's wholesome. Like, it's innocent. It's very pure. It's just you like, know? man. Because it hits us because like, we always recognize like, oh, I was like that. I was at that adolescent age at one point. Yeah. And I remember like, like, oh my God, like getting Halloween candy. I was... Dude. I, was I used to get jacked off of this. Dude. Like, I used to go crazy. You know, yeah. costume, go to door to door and used to drop you. You run. Dude, you, you, yeah. Run with your friend. Oh, dude. It used to get wild on Halloween, you know? Yeah. Oh. My shit was Dots. Dots candy. Dots. I was not. I was always more like the chewy candies than the, than the right. chocolates. I I honestly, uh, it was it was Babe Ruth's for me, dude. And Ooh. no one likes the Babe Ruth's. Have you ever heard of the Babe Ruth? Uh, I, no, of course I know what oh, that shit like, is. Oh my god! It cool. honestly looks like a crusty poop. Like get out of here! There's all the peanut pellets all over it. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not a Babe Ruth. Yes, it is. No, it's not. What is that? Then? It's covered in chocolate, and it has like a like a. It's like a. What am I thinking of then? Um, with the a, peanuts all over it. A payday. No, I'm thinking of a Babe Ruth. No, that's a payday. Dude, I'm googling this shit. Yes, Google it. We're gonna have a Halloween debate on Christmas. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, I'm telling you. Okay. It's a payday. Okay. Let me. Oh shit! Now, now I'm starting to think that you're fucking right. Exactly. God. I should have bet on that too. Oh, oh, it's Baby Ruth. That's why I was getting confused. Baby, Baby Ruth. Ruth. It does have peanuts. Oh, dude, yeah, it's got like crusty peanuts on it. Yeah, but inside. It is, but it is covered in chocolate. And what was the other one? Payday. 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 Is stupid gay day. You know. <laughs> Where's the candy bar? Did you type it in right? Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Paydays. I don't yeah. like that shit. I They're like them. modern day health bars, but with more sugar. I love them. I would rather have a Babe Ruth. But, dude, when it comes to, like, chocolate candies and shit, I always liked Milky Ways. Milky Ways are really good. Mil- like, dark it's chocolate just milk. chocolate and just caramel. That, that little marshmallow fluff mm-hmm. in there. Yeah, mm-hmm. Milky Ways are or, pretty um, good. Or, um, or Three Musketeers. Yes! Three oh, Musketeers yes. Like Three too. Musketeers. Also a fan. So. Twix sometimes. Kit Kat. This was good. Kit Kat sometimes. My brother was a hound for Reese's. Wow. Um, but, dude, my number one candy forever, for the longest time, Swedish Fish. Fish, fish, okay. And my number two, which is also maybe debatable for my number one, peach rings. Peach rings, peach rings. Yeah. I think mine would have to be Jolly Ranchers. I love Jolly Ranchers. I know you do. I they're, love Jolly Ranchers. They're all right. I liked it when I was a kid, like getting the blue ones. Swedish know. fish is all right. It's just one taste the whole time. Oh, fucking stupid. Yeah. We can get the multicolored pack. And they're dry. <laughs> no, no. Dude, I used to eat a whole two and a half pound bag in one sitting. Yo. What? <laughs> I did that multiple times. Oh my God. Yeah, dude. Hell no. All right, and to to finish up our top ten questions for this for our Christmas episode, I really like this one. This is my favorite one too. What would Santa slay? What would he slay? Everything. Would it be a dragon? Everything under the sun. Would it be pussy? Dra- yes. Well, probably not because he's married. So never mind. Unless he's you know. I mean, he could easily uh, cheat. But he could easily cheat. He's, he's going around the world. Dude, he's he's Santa. He can get one girl from every ethnicity in one night and snatch their children up and bring them back to his factory. Jesus. I mean, he's like, if you don't have sex with me, I'm taking your child. (laughs) (laughs) Just to make toys. That he already does here. That's a damn, bro. Like, (laughs) what if, like, years, years later, like, 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 all the dirty shit comes out about Santa and how he wasn't a jolly person? You know, like, because how they did it. He was Krampus. Oh, imagine. Crisscross. (laughs) <laughs> I'm like yo crisscross <laughs> you know but yeah nah he would tell everything but honestly I I had uh, interpreted that question a lot differently I uh, I was thinking of his sleigh for some reason oh, and I put on my thing what would he Sam- would drive a big ass red Chevy top <laughs> like it'd just be fucking it would just be bumping with a come on boy <laughs> you know so yeah I totally read that from that's a good one though too. Just to end it, what would Santa slay? What would he slay? Everything. Yeah. Everything. Um, what I wrote was this: Besides <laughs> Mrs. Claus, nine hundred million year old pussy, when he stops at it, <laughs> when, he, when he stops at an Amish family's house, he probably dips his wrinkly old cock in some fresh uh, eggnog made with real eggs and lets poor Rudolph lick it off. It stays on his dick because it's extra thick because it's made with real eggs. It probably turns Rudolph on so much that that's what makes his nose light up. Fresh 
Amish eggnog. I sh- am a loss for words right now. Straight from Santa's lock, personal sled. Lock this man up. Lock this man Dude, up. Dude, lock me up. Get the fucking cuffs. I think we're gonna once we get video, guys, we're gonna do a whole episode. I'm gonna have my arms behind me. I'm just gonna be locked. And then you just put a straight jacket on me and then duct tape my mouth. Yeah. Like yeah. what happened to me at a birthday party at, when I was in fifth grade. Jeez. The, the, uh, these, these kids duct taped me to a chair and then they started putting duct tape on my hair and ripping all my hair out. <sighs> yeah, it was me against like eight other people. I will never move to Virginia. Yeah, I got bullied a lot, bro. <laughs> Anyways. Like, fuck, man. Merry I'm sorry, Christmas. Dude. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I wish I was your friend. Fuck. It's all good, dude. Different time, different place. I'm only stronger because... Oh, that's another good... I wish cl- I was your friend then. Yeah, God, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, that, I was like... I was all thinking, I was like, yeah, that sounds so fucked up. But that reminds me of another good Christmas movie with huh. Annie in it. Um, Annie? Well, Annie, you know... Anakin! Better get home quick. Oh, okay, uh, wait. It's, oh, okay, no, the, the one right, with uh, Schwarzenegger. Uh, oh, um, Action Man? Action Hero? No, that's not the name of it. But what is it called? I know what you're thinking. Uh, I don't know what it's. Oh, Run, Run, Rudolph. No. <laughs> no. Dude, I know what you're. The fuck- last action man? Because that one no, is a Christmas it's, movie. It's not the last action man. It's not the last, oh, the last action, action man. What was that movie called, dude? I'm looking this up, dude, because I can't think of it right. Jingle All the Way. That's what it's called. Jingle All the Way. Okay. It's with the guy who played. It's with the little kid who played Anakin in Star Wars Episode One, and then Arnold Schwarzenegger. And isn't he the toy in that one? Or or isn't he's, the, he's not like the toy, but oh, sort of like yeah, yeah, yeah. he Jamie is the son's name right, in the right. movie, and he wants this action figure t- toy that's like literally like a foot and a half, mm. two feet tall, and they're sold out everywhere. And then his dad, who's like a business guy who like neglects the family, realizes how much he's hurting his family. Who's Arnold, and he mm. goes. All over the city, does all this crazy shit, and then oh, Turbo Man is what it's called. Turbo and, Man, and then he ends up turning it like he ends up like going to the live parade, beating up the Turbo guy, and then getting in his suit, and then he rescues his son, and then like he's like, he's like, I didn't get you Turbo Man, but it's better because my dad is Turbo Man, and like it makes his whole day. So it's cute, Aww. and it's, that's another that's, that's another, another good one. that's another good Christmas consideration one. It yeah, is. it is. I like Arnold, dude. I mean, yeah. he's not the best actor, but he's like fun, like. In terms he was of the like, best actor at the time, though. But here's the thing. Here's what I want to argue. If you take Arnold versus The Rock in terms of like acting and and like just like overall hero ness, dude, the Arnold is way better. There's something about The Rock that just that's he, what I'm saying. He tries to sell it too much. I, he, he tries to overdo it. He tries to like he tries to impress you. Where yeah. Arnold's like, I'm just doing this. I think it's the whole thing of like uh, I think The Rock markets a lot. Like like since it's his brand, his name, he feels like that he has to always like. Make a comment, put something out there and stuff where, where like, Arnold kind of let the movie kind of, like, speak for itself. Exactly. Like, yo, my name is Arnold Schwarzenegger and you guys know what I am. You guys knew who I am. I'm Mr. Olympia. You know, yeah. I don't have to market it because I'm the fucking guy. You exactly. Know? So, that's why it's just kind of like, you know, it's a, yeah. But I, I do see that difference, though. I do see that yeah. difference. Yeah. Because, any, like, like, literally, growing up, I swear, my, uh, uh, my dad would always have like all these action hero movies and stuff, and literally one of them was always, uh, it was the first Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and that was like, dude, like it was just like you know, like like he's just that fucking dude, bro. Like I don't know, it's just like he had the look, he had the muscles, you know. You know? The yeah. Terminator, come on, oh like, dude, what the yeah, hell? Terminator like, dude. is so good, yeah. God. Man's a legend. <laughs> yeah, he, he is, dude. He's a legend. He's, yeah. I mean, he even became a fucking governor. Right. I mean, what the of, hell? Of, uh, of San Francisco, right? Yeah, California. California. Okay, okay, okay. California. Almost San Francisco. No, the whole state, yeah. Right. Dude, yeah, just like that's... He goes from bodybuilder to movie star to governor. Like, damn. Yeah, like, he's done it all, literally. And he banged his maid. Yeah. <laughs> and got away with it. And he do, he's done it all. If it wasn't... It, no. Literally. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally. He's done it all. Hey, oh. I love Arnold. Hell Man, yeah. yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah. Great guy. Well, we appreciate you guys tuning in to our wonderful, delicious chocolate milk Christmas special. Hope you guys have a really safe Christmas. You guys eat. You guys spend time with family. And you guys just, you know, you enjoy jingle, it. You jingle all the way. You jingle all the damn You way. jingle all the way. Speaking of jingle, if you're in a bad position or know somebody who's in a bad position, pick up that phone. Give that 988 a jingle for us. Yeah, yeah. And, and let's try to be there for each other, you know, especially during the holidays, man, because... It can get lonely and We gotta depressed. rise up. Well, you know. Yeah. For sure. Exactly, dude. And I'm on the same page as you. So we appreciate you guys tuning in. Much love. Uh, get ready for an episode coming your way next week. We're going to wrap up 2022 with some with a top 10 craziest, most the socially impactful things of the year. Yeah. 
So until next time, guys, 